Immediately after birth, parents have the unique opportunity to save their baby's umbilical cord stem cells. As Dr. Cherie Daly explains, these stem cells could be used to treat diseases later on in life. Stem cells are basically our building blocks of all our tissues in our body. From when the egg is fertilized in the womb, the ball of stem cells creates all our organs and tissues. And then stem cells stay with us throughout life. They circulate through our body and they build and repair the tissues. The oldest known stem cell transplants are what we will refer to as a bone marrow transplant. It was discovered that the stem cells used in bone marrow transplants are also available in the umbilical cord blood of the newborn babies. Umbilical cord blood needs to be collected at the time of birth and cryo preserved. Saving your baby's stem cells is an opportunity for your family. Baby's stem cells will be a 100% match for the baby, a 1 in 4 chance of tissue matching siblings and a 1 in 8 chance of tissue matching parents. We all have six major tissue types in our body and we need to match these tissue types to be able to do a transplant. This is one of the great advantages of umbilical cord blood. We only have to match four out of six, five out of six or six out of six. Why do we not need such a perfect match with umbilical cord blood? It's because when we take the blood from the umbilical cord, it's in a newborn baby who has not been exposed to any viruses, bacteria, so the immune system of this baby is immature and this it does not evoke the same immune response as from bone marrow in an adult. Louis Rell is the managing director of CryoSave South Africa, which is making stem cell storage accessible for everyone. The accessibility for young parents to store their baby's stem cells throughout Africa is fairly easy now. You know, we've, we've established ourselves and we're experts in transporting cells and, and moving blood. So uh, regardless of where you're at in South Africa, if you're, if you're in a hospital, we'll be able to collect for you. This is the first step towards our key social responsibility projects. One of these that we're running is our cost-free donation program. This is a unique program that allows us to help families that have a current need. So somebody that's sick in the immediate family with a disease that's treatable with stem cells and the mom is pregnant, we will harvest and collect the baby's umbilical cord blood stem cells, which is essentially a waste product in an effort to then treat the family member that's ill. And this is a really unique project for us here. There's a huge need in Africa. Radio and television personality Mark Pilgrim and his wife Nicole chose to store umbilical cord stem cells from their youngest daughter Alyssa. Well, I think there's a misconception when it comes to stem cell storage that, like Dolly the sheep, is someone going to be able to clone your child. And the moment you start doing a little bit of research, you realize that's not the case. It's more about certain diseases that, uh, in terms of using stem cells, can help eradicate the disease should it ever come about. And it's uh, an insurance policy for something down the line, possibly in 10 years' time. Scientists believe there's a high probability a child will use stem cells from their own umbilical cord blood later on in life. The odds are 1 in 400 and growing. I've had the cancer. I've had the heart attack, which is based on hereditary heart disease in the family. So as a preemptive strike, so to speak, uh, one of the things I did was uh, I made sure that I stored my baby stem cells. They can do so much with stem cells now, I can only imagine what they would be able to do in 10 or 20 years' time. Kirsten and Robert Dauncey were among the first wave of young parents who took the opportunity to store their child's umbilical cord stem cells. The life throws so many things at you ordinarily and with the increase I mean, you hear of every second person having an ailment of some sort, predominantly cancer. All the sort of things that we've read up and we've been told uh, stem cells are making advances in. For us it was just that safety net. It didn't hurt her in any way, the retrieval. I didn't even know it was taking place, you know, it, it, it's, it's just so easy, so affordable for what it can do. Over 70 diseases can currently be treated with umbilical cord stem cells, with research also being done to treat cerebral palsy and even type 1 diabetes. The future applications of stem cells is very interesting and exciting. Today there's over 4,000 clinical trials and clinical studies being conducted from anything to, from hearing loss to spinal cord injury to cosmetic surgery, it's, it's really the, the sky's the limit. So considering that over the last 10 years there's been an exponential increase in the diseases that we can treat it, 
if we project this forward, it, it suggests that there's going to be a, a, a huge amount of benefit that's going to come out of stem cell storage. Give your unborn child a gift of life and consider storing your baby's stem cells.